I was sent to a camp, to slave labor camp. That was in uh, November 1940. No human language can describe life in this camp, or I wouldn't call it existence, it's not life. We were working from earliest morning till late in the night in the forest. To go to the place of work we have to march six kilometers. And considering that it was still winter, it was February, and it was before you approach that, that place that we are working, it was empty place. So the snow was deep, uh, uh, breast deep. And we had to every day to march six kilometers just making the trail. We have to establish the trail for ourselves. Marching in force, surrounded by soldiers, and skis, and dogs. And each morning we were warned that any one step to the left, one step to the front, is considered an escape, and they will shoot without forewarning. So we had to march in force. When it started, uh, early spring started, the snow started melting. So it was below the snow, there was water, ice water. I was almost barefoot. And the, on my uh, feet, I had uh, some contraptions that uh, let water in. So I was standing from early morning to late in the night in the ice water. It lasted f four months. If it lasted longer, I don't think I would survive. People were dying there, just out of sheer overwork. Considering, you know, that they didn't uh, perform their quota, I mean the camp, our camp, it was one of archipelago. If you read Sanzanese archipelago, this was one of the islands of the, of the thousands of like this. But that camp, which was surrounded you know, by, by fence, barbed fences, people were dying, but they were sending new people. They didn't care. They knew that they were only for duration of a few months, our work, but they needed work. 